Greetings. This devotion is for the 27th of August, and the reading for this day comes from James chapter 1, 9 through 16. Let the believer who is lowly boast in being raised up, and the rich in being brought low. Because the rich will disappear like a flower in the field, for the sun rises with its scorching heat and withers the field, its flower falls, and its beauty perishes. In the same way with the rich, in the midst of a busy life, they will wither away. Blessed is anyone who endures temptation. Such a one has stood the test and will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. No one, when tempted, should say, I am being tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted by evil, and he himself tempts no one. But one is tempted by one's own desire, being lured and enticed by it. Then, when that desire is conceived, it gives birth to sin, and that sin, when it is fully grown, gives birth to death. Do not be deceived, my beloved. I'm going to grab on a little piece of this, but you have probably heard the phrase, God only gives you as much as you can carry or handle or some form of it, right? I I think this falls into this latter part of, uh, or the second part of this text, when, when James is talking about being tempted. I don't buy that God gives you burdens to carry to give you, right? I I think God walks with you. I think God directs a path. I think there's a lot of things that perhaps we can say. But God doesn't, you know, so often I have heard that, that when people are going through very, very difficult times, then they hear this, well, God doesn't give you any more than you can carry, and it and it rings tough. Because you almost, being in that position, kind of wonder, what did I do that God has given me this? And it's almost in that same vein that we are believing that God is tempting that person, right? We carry lots of burdens. Of course we do. They happen. They they happen in life because life happens. They happen because sometimes we'll make mistakes. They happen for a multitude of reasons. But God does not cause the burdens, does not cause the temptation. When, when God blessed us, with free will and living in free will it no know, god knows stuff's going to happen right rest assured though my friends god doesn't cause it or have anything to do with it rather god grieves for us and with us in those times and promises promises to walk with us as we deal with the stuff of life. Join me in Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. The Lord makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. You restore my soul, O Lord, and guide me along right pathways for your name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup is running over. Surely, Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever.